only hard heart feet line I take what's mine and I leave behind I'm a lonely hard heart feet line I take what's mine and I leave behind Sorry that I don't look cute today and I have my hood up because my hair just looks disgusted Like the roots are so real. My pink hair is not even pink anymore It's like some faded out washed out dry color and I just feel like I look like a fit right now So yeah, so today is part three of my declutter video. I can't believe this is part three I just can't wait to just declutter everything and just move on with my life I'm at that point where I'm just itching to make like different content and I haven't posted in like two days <laughs> on my Instagram and already like <laughs> but anyway yeah I am gonna get started so I got so much lip products I don't know how to actually declutter I think I might just sit here like I actually got a chair guys I got myself a little stool I don't know why I didn't get myself a chair earlier when I was decluttering all my other stuff but anyway all right so these three drawers down here is like hair tools hair bands and then up here is my dedicated drawer to Mac I'm actually not going to have this drawer as a dedicated drawer to Mac I think I'm just gonna change it up and just put other lip products in here and then in here is my <laughs> nude lip collection and do you know what's so embarrassing guys I actually have a divider in here can you see there's a divider in here but because there's so much lip products in here you can't even see the divider so I'm actually gonna sort that out and then in here is like colorful lip products so like dark lipsticks bright lipsticks orange lipsticks the whole lot and then up here it's not so bad oh it's my this is my birthday crown that I wore for my photo shoot. In here is just lip liners, lip balms, and all sorts, and just some like spare sponges at the back as well. But this drawer, majority of it is gonna go because a lot of these lip liners are out of date, and a lot of these lip balms I actually don't like. So yeah, a lot of it is gonna go. And then up here, nothing fancy, it's just makeup bags. I needed a home for my makeup bag, so I put it up here. And also, hello, Bade. Yada, 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 yada. So you probably wondering why do I have a dedicated drawer to MAC lip products and the reason why is because I grew up absolutely loving MAC as a whole brand. When I decided to become a makeup artist and do that as a career, to me MAC was like one of the only brands that I felt like could really help me become a better makeup artist because let's face it, I didn't have four or five grand back in a day to go to beauty school. I really didn't and one of the best ways for anyone to become a makeup artist and have credibility and have a good name and start a reputation was to become a counter makeup artist. So working at MAC, working at Smashbox, working at Estee Lauder, working at Chanel, like being a counter makeup artist, you're still respected and still looked at as a good makeup artist as long as you're good and as long as you know the products and everything. And I've always aspired to be a MAC makeup artist, but now that I'm much older, I don't aspire to be a MAC makeup artist anymore, but I still have a lot of respect for the brand but it's just that I don't know you kind of just grow out of things you know and I feel like MAC is one of those OG brands that is kind of losing their spiciness and I kind of wish that they could just make a new product rather than repackaging old makeup products if you guys get what I mean so yeah a lot of these products are actually gonna go in the bin because they're so old I'm gonna keep a, uh, a few MAC products obviously but like stuff like this like you see what I mean like this is the type of stuff that I would love to see MAC do in 2021. This is when they collaborated with Nico Panda and I'm not really a big fan of like blue lipstick or anything. Unfortunately, I ruined this. So I actually went on a press trip a few years ago when they launched the O oh Sweetie MAC lip creams. These are really, really nice. So these are matte lip creams and they're so pigmented, but they're so out of date. So unfortunately, I have to say goodbye to them. Like, let me just swatch one for you guys. That way you can see. Oh, look at that. And it's so hydrating as well. It's so lovely. Okay. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to this MAC Times Patrick Star lip gloss because this is quite old. This lip gloss in the shade Snob. Oh my god. 
Oh, that is such a baddie lip gloss. Love it. I'm going to keep this because it's actually quite new. Matt created a makeup collection with um, these silver top lids. I don't know what the purpose was. I think it's got to do with something with soft, like soft makeup or something. This is quite new, so I'm going to keep all of that. This is old. Look at all that separation inside the lip gloss. That's how you know this lip gloss was loved. But fortunately, it's out of date, so I'm going to say goodbye to it. I'm going to get rid of the MAC Times Aaliyah because, like I said, it's old. So I just found the MAC Times Lunar New Year's lip gloss. I'm actually going to give this away to a family member because this is still in date. And also, because I have so much MAC lip products, I don't need any more. One of these needs to go away. Oh my god, so MAC did a cherry blossom collection. So adorable. They actually took me to Japan. Oh, good times. That was such an amazing trip. That was like my first time going to Japan. This is old. This is a mini lip gloss, which you can get as a tester at MAC. Okay, so that's the lip gloss. So it's going to move on to down here now. I don't know why I didn't do this part down here. I think because I saw this first and I just felt like I need to get rid of it because those oh sweetie lip creams were in there for a long, 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 long time. Okay, so the ones that are already packaged, I'm going to keep them because they are new. These Tiana Taylor lip liners, I'm going to keep. Oh my god, that's such a beautiful shade. Oh, let me show you guys up close, actually. These lip liners look so cute. I love the colour of the um, lip pencils. It kind of <laughs> reminds me of, like, colouring pencils, but they're not. They're, like, lip liners. Love the shades of browns. So adorable. I'm just going to temporarily put this in here. So when I went to Japan, MAC had a little machine where you can engrave your name. I don't know if you can actually do that at the store, but I'm sure if you like go online how to like engrave name on makeup products, I'm sure there's like an independent company that can do that for you. But I thought that was so cute and this is very sentimental. So I'm going to actually keep this and it says my name on it, man. I mean, Mac, if you ever want to collaborate, <laughs> you know, you know where I'm at. You have my email, you have my phone number, Mac PR. So, you know, these are quite new. So I'm going to keep them. I think these are the sh same shades. Oh no, they're not. Okay, cool. So I'm going to... Ah! that over here this is a really beautiful red guys watch time look at that oh my god that is just so stunning i love the shade of red you know what i haven't worn a red lipstick in such a long time because of my hair so i can't wait to dye my hair back to black and just wear a red lipstick this is in the shade feels so grand such a beautiful lip color i need to get a new one because this is like this used to be my go-to red liquid lipstick oh my god this is so adorable this is an orange lip cream so cute i'm actually going to keep this one because i you never know i might do like a cute little k-pop style makeup look and they always have cute orange shades and i feel like this could work yep they sent me the whole entire metallic lip gloss collection just so nice of them but i just don't wear it this shade is just oh my god I just watch this. Oh, so pretty. That's such a unique lip color. And if you guys are wondering what shade this is, this is in the shade Let's Rock. Such a beautiful color. Again, I've got another beautiful lip color that I've got to swatch for you guys. I feel like out of all the drawers, the lip drawers are the ones to swatch because I just love lip products. Oh, this is so pretty. So satisfying. Oh, so stunning. This is in the shade Electric Rainbow. So cute. But this is old, so I'm going to say goodbye to it. So these are the soft lip creams. They're so, so, so good. If you're looking for a matte liquid lipstick, but you don't like liquid lipstick, again, you've tried so many liquid lipsticks, but you just prefer something creamy, this is the one for you guys. And do you know what? Every time I use these lip products, one of you guys always DM me or comment down below in my post saying these are actually really good. So yeah, it makes me really happy when I use a product and you guys tried them and you like them as well. Right, gonna have to say goodbye to these lip products, unfortunately. Girl, this is out of date. <laughs> All these lip colors are going to have to be given away to someone. And then this, I don't know if this is still available. This is basically a MAC brush holder. I think it's so sweet. I'm actually going to display it on my display unit. Okay, so we're going to move on to the back of the drawer. And guys, oh my god, blah, 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 blah. I, I just, I don't know where to begin. So I'm just going to pick up lip products that I know I'm going to use. So the minis, I'm going to keep all of the minis because they're very handy to have whilst traveling. Uh, not that I don't think I'll be traveling anytime soon, but I I'd rather keep the minis in the full size Which I know sounds a bit crazy, but um, I just feel like I have more motivation to use them So yeah, I'm gonna keep these minis. I'm gonna pop it in here. I will unbox these 
uh, when I'm bothered. Oh my god, so Amazon, there used to be a company on Amazon that used to sell clear lipstick lids and it's so much easier because you can just see the inside of your lipstick so you know what colour you're picking up but they no longer exist anymore and it's absolutely annoying so I'm so sorry that I can't help you with this because this is so handy. I'm gonna donate this, donate that, donate that. I can tell what's old by looking at the packaging. How weird is that? Right, so the MAC lipsticks that comes in a matte packaging, those are the, uh, what's it called? Soft Kiss, is it? Is that what it's called? Powder Kiss lipsticks, that's it. These are really nice and soft and matte on the lips. I'm gonna go through these in a moment, so I'm gonna separate everything. I'm gonna keep the Tiana Taylor lipsticks because they are pretty new. So these are the little mini MAC lipsticks. It's from the Christmas collection. I'm gonna donate these. These are so cute and pretty, but I know I'm not going to use these bright colours because I know I just won't or even oh I actually use this okay I'll keep that because I use that so yeah I'm going to give these two away another one so adorable going to give that away this one is called half calf or half calf I guess I think I think what they're trying to say is half caffeinated I don't know I don't know what's going on here. And this is the OG Twig MAC lipstick. If you're looking for a really bold pink lipstick, this is called Declaring Love, so cute. And the packaging is pretty unique as well. This is from the Cherry Blossom Makeup Collection. So cute, oh, so, so, so cute. But these lipsticks are unfortunately out of date. Going to keep these two. So this shade is called French Silk. And this one is called DGF, which obviously stands for don't give a ahem, ahem. <laughs> oh, and MAC lipstick smells so nice. It's like a really nice strong vanilla. This lipstick is so stunning. This is called A La Plage. It's so pretty, so cute. Oh my God, gonna keep that. Oh, I found a velvet teddy, a velvet teddy. Such an OG lipstick, love it. Still love that lipstick to this day. This is the shade Mocha, very pretty. Okay, so whenever you see a MAC lipstick with this coloring, it usually means it's a Viva La Glam lipstick. And Viva La Glam, what they do is that every year they raise money for charity and they usually collaborate with a celebrity and they create a lipstick with the celebrity and they sell it and they use that money to give away to charity, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna donate all of these shades. Hold on, let me just show you. Can I do this all for? Very cute shades. Here are the names. Sorry guys, I'm at that point where I can't be bothered to say the names of the lipsticks. So make sure you screenshot the, um, the products. <laughs> not for me so this is going to go oh that's so pretty i'm gonna keep this one this would be a really nice autumn lip color oh my god let's just look at it one more time so pretty i like it oh girl that's in japanese i'm so sorry i'm not sure what shade this is but screenshot this video and i don't know maybe on mac it will be able to show you guys what this shade is. It looks a bit like Twiggy actually. Such a beautiful shade. It's called Mullet Over. I'm actually going to give this away. And then last but not least. Oh wow, that is such a beautiful colour. But I'm going to give this one as away because this is just way too light. And even though I could potentially wear this in the middle of my lips if I want to do a little ombre, um, I already have loads of shades like this. So yeah, I'm going to give this away. Okay, now onto the OG MAC lipsticks. Oh my god, wow. That is Oh, I can tell by the cracks and everything. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one away. This is like a so old. I remember I got this for my birthday. It's called Faux. Very beautiful shade, but this has to go because it's so old. This lipstick. Oh, wow. I didn't know I had a black MAC lipstick. This is called Fairless. I'm actually gonna keep this, it's really pretty. Very pretty, but I'm going to give this one away. I think this is my first ever Velvet Teddy lipstick and I just never used it. <laughs> of what 
my Wiz Mac Lip Draw used to be. I'm now gonna fill it up with other products. I think I'm gonna fill it up with, with hot ombre because I've got a glass here. I think it'd be really nice to just display it here. I think that'd be really cool. So I'm just gonna put all of hot ombre in here. This is, um, this brand is owned by CC. But I love CC's liquid lipsticks. They're such good quality. Like, look at the shade. Oh, it's so pretty. This is from her new collection, actually. She formulated the perfect liquid lipstick. It's lightweight, and also you can make a ombre, hence why it's called hot ombre. And these are her lips as well on the packaging, which is so cool. Imagine having like your face or um, a feature on your face on a packaging. That's so amazing. This one looks so stunning. Oh, so pretty. Love it. This one's a metallic one. So cute. Oh, love this one. Right, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the spaces, but I'm just going to leave it blank and just move on to the next draw. Hi, me again. Oh my god. Cover the roots, girl. Nobody's going to know. Um, I don't know what that was. I just had a little moment. I'm going to be so honest with you guys. God, hair in my mouth. I have so many lip products. It's going to be really hard for me to show you every single one of those lip products. So in this video, I am going to kind of be like skimming through it a little bit quicker compared to my other two declutter videos, only because there's just so many products and I don't want to spend too much time decluttering my drawers. I'm so sorry, guys. I just felt like it was very important for me to say that to you all because I did receive a comment where someone commented and they said that they wished I showed more of my products. And it's like, it's just too much, guys. Honestly, like thinking about it, it's just stressing me out. So I will try my best to show you as much as I can. But in terms of like swatching and telling you the names of each shade, I think the best thing for me to do is to just show you on camera so yeah this is my nude lip drawer i think i'm gonna move most of my nude lip products down here in my previous drawer which i just decluttered that way i have more space and it's just easier because i am gonna keep a lot of my nude lip products oh my bloody okay so just to let you all know the top literally the products that are like swimming on top they are actually new products the one below it are pretty old so yeah um i'm gonna keep this this is the fenty gloss bomb and i'm gonna move it in here oh yeah by the way guys i actually changed my mind i actually uh, decided to put the hot ombre boxes like this only because when I closed it, it like all tipped over and I thought, do you know what, effort, let me just display it like this. Even though it's not the prettiest, it's still quite presentable. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put that in here. Going to keep this, this is the Too Faced new lip injections. Going to keep this, this is the new Wet n Wild lip glosses. Going to keep this, this is the Physicians Formula Velvet Finish liquid lipstick, I think I have no idea, but yeah. So yeah, I'm going to keep all of these. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep this Milani lipstick. All right, I'm going to keep all of the Juvia's Place lipsticks because they are so bomb. Uh, the shade is called In Vogue. Gonna donate this. Uh, gonna donate this. Donate that. Just gonna keep this. This is a Japanese lip that I got from Tokyo, which is so cute. Right, I'm actually gonna go through products that I don't wanna keep. I think that will speed things up a little bit over here. So everything that I've got in my hands, I'm gonna be donating them. I'm gonna donate all of these products. By the way, these are just all nudes. Just nudes. Oh my God, this is like completely broken, wow. This KKW lip cream, so out of date, but it's a very bomb color. Same with this, Buxom lip gloss, out of date. Out of date, this ColourPop lipstick in the shade Simon Says. Oh wow. This is a bomb lip gloss from Pat McGrath. This is in the shade Dare to Bear. Love this lip gloss, I'm gonna keep that up. Donate, I'm gonna keep these. These are amazing Fenty Beauty lip creams. Donate, <laughs> still in its packaging. These are going to be given away. Wow, look at this. Ooh, Javanshi. Gotta try you out, girl. These are going to be given away because I just don't use them. Same with this one. Same with this one. Same with this one. Same with this one. 
Oh my god, look how cute and tiny this is. But I'm gonna have to give this away because I just don't use it. Everything in my hand is gonna get donated. So Colourpop, NARS, Sigma, Charlotte Tilbury, this Japanese makeup brand, and Elf and Morphe. Oh well, got so many products back here. This is old, this is old. This is new. Oh my god, didn't mean to smash it down there. That's new. Uh, that's new. That's new. Oh my god, this is so adorable. This mini NARS liquid lipstick, but unfortunately that's quite old. Uh, all of these are old. So there's this brand that I really want to show you guys. This is a brand called it Nude by Nature. They specialize in nude makeup. Oh, honestly, their products are so good. But I'm gonna have to say goodbye to it because unfortunately it's old. Oh, gonna keep this. Patrick's Hard Lip Gloss. So all of these are going to be going. Give this one away. <laughs> this is a primer, but for some reason I put my primer in a lip drawer. <laughs> this is a new Too Faced Plump and Prime. Cannot wait to actually try this. Sounds really good. So everything my hands are going to be given away. Giving away these beautiful nudes. This is from Moulak, which is a, I think it's an Italian brand. I do apologize if I am wrong. This is a Clinique lipstick. This is really, really, really gorgeous, but I just don't use it. And then the Morphe liquid lipstick as well in the shade Jealousy. Okay, so these are going to be given away. All of these nude lipsticks from Too Faced. Uh, a lot of them are actually Too Faced and Colourpop that I'm getting rid of. This Marc Jacobs lipstick as well. This Cheetah Print packaging is so cute and this lipstick is cute as well but I just don't use it unfortunately. This KKW lip gloss in the shade Juicy. This is going to have to go because it's quite old but I will get some new KKW makeup. Everything in my hands is going to be donated so I got the Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss which is so cute. Got the Laura Mercier lip gloss as well. Laura Mercier has a beautiful shade range of lip glosses. Um, there's Kylie Cosmetic liquid lipstick. This Bare Minerals lipstick. Bare Minerals has some beautiful nudes and some Too Faced lipsticks as well. Another Nude by Nature lipstick. Oh my god, so cute. I wonder if Nude by Nature is still around actually. I haven't seen them launch anything in literally years, guys. It's so weird. So everything in my hairs are going to be donating. I found some MAC lipsticks in here, which is so weird because it's not meant to go in there. But um, yeah, these are all going to have a lovely home. Oh my god, so Fenty sent me this lipstick, which has never been used, but I just, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling the colour, so I'm going to give that away. Got a Velvet Teddy fresh in its package. <laughs> Gonna be giving this away. So I was thinking maybe to have these two rolls. Rolls? <laughs> Rose, oh my God, I said rolls. <laughs> to be lip glosses and then this one over here to be liquid lipsticks. I think that'd be really nice and easy and quite organized as well. So originally I was gonna put like lip glosses in here but now I've changed my mind. I'm gonna put lip glosses up here. So I'm still gonna have like a dedicated MAC area just so it's easier for me to figure out what MAC lipstick to wear because sometimes I'll be like, oh, I wanna wear Ruby Woo. I'll be like, oh, Ruby Woo, okay, yeah, cool. So, you know, it's just a bit more easier. Uh, I'm gonna keep my Fenty lip products over here because I really do enjoy using them. Same with this section over here is like MAC. So I'm gonna get rid of more lipsticks and then down here is like a dedicated area to Juvia's Place. Uh, I really enjoy using Juvia's Place lipstick. I think I might actually put this upside down that way it's easier for me to figure out which lip color to go for i really like it when brands do lipsticks and then at the bottom it's like a colored sticker with the name i think it just makes life so much easier i might get a lipstick holder who knows and um, i do plan on moving soon so in a way i kind of don't want to like spend money Okay, that's a bit more clearer actually. I'm quite proud of this drawer. Oh my god. Okay, I know this needs a little bit of working on, but at least I can kind of see everything and have an idea of like, you know, if I'm doing a makeup look, I'm like, oh, what is it to go for? I can just open up this drawer and just kind of have a sneak peek. Let's move on to this drawer right here. I think I'm gonna get rid of more products actually only because I wanna be able to see most of my lip products. That way I don't feel so overwhelmed. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Say goodbye to this. Say goodbye to this. Finally, I can take this out of the packaging. And same with the color pop as well. Okay, so it turns out I don't have that much liquid lips as compared to lip glosses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reorganize it again. This 
actually looks pretty cool. So the liquid lipsticks are over here. I know that I know I don't have a lot of liquid lipsticks, but that is absolutely fine. I plan to keep it like that. Um, this is my lip gloss nude collection, which I am loving so so much. And then below it is just a bit of everything. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna be so honest with you all. I have no idea how I'm going to organize this drawer. So originally, this was just gonna be like my colorful lip drawer. And I, I don't know, I don't know if I'm to keep this drawer the way it is or just to like mix everything up. I gave myself a little bit of a head start because I needed to charge my battery for a bit. And I did end up putting in like a bright red lipstick, liquid lipstick in there, not lipstick. And a couple of these dark liquid lipsticks as well because this is the liquid lip draw section so I have no idea I'm just gonna like end up improvising by the end but I am going to start off by getting rid of things that I do not use oh my god looking at all of this gives me so much anxiety okay let's start off with just with anything okay um going to donate 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 literally going to donate majority of these products because I just don't use them. Okay, these ABH lip stains are terrible. I do not like them, so I'm going to be giving them all away. They just don't work and they make my lips look so patchy. I'm gonna get rid of this dark lip gloss because I just don't wear them. Oh, this lip gloss is so gorgeous, but again, I don't wear it. I'm gonna keep this. I'm just gonna temporarily put this in here. Who knows, it might stay in here forever, but you know oh my god these lime crime lipsticks are so old gonna donate these lipsticks this is from dior a really nice beautiful red and then i'm gonna donate this NARS lipstick as well. They did the glittery lipstick, which I thought was interesting because you know it's Instagrammable. And I think they did another one as well. Oh my god, that's so stunning, but I just wouldn't wear them. Oh, I just found my Trophy Wife Fenty Gloss, but I'm gonna keep this because I love wearing this. Gonna donate all of these. God, I've got like boxes of lip glosses back here. Why? Why do I have these? Okay, so this is the designer collection when Colourpop collaborated with Disney princesses. This is how they look, so cute. I think I'm gonna give this away to my nieces because I just don't wear them. I'm gonna keep the blossoms because they're just so adorable. Oh my God, so cute. I'm gonna donate this though because I have so many clear lip glosses already. I'm gonna keep this, this is the Pink Salad Lab. This is an indie brand, you can find them on TikTok. So cute, everything is like pretty much homemade, handmade. It's such an adorable brand. I'm gonna donate all of this because I do not wear roll-on lip glosses anymore. I'm gonna give this away probably to someone in my family. This is the Dior lip collection yeah I'm just not gonna use any of these back here I have the Victoria Beckham Beauty I can't believe Victoria Beckham has I mean I can believe it but at the same time I can't believe it that Victoria Beckham has her own makeup line so yeah these are her lipsticks oh my god they're so gorgeous and I love how it comes in a bag it's very um very premium, shall I say, and very extra. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep these lipsticks. I think I'm gonna keep a few of these shades. This is from a brand called Emelyn. They're very adorable. I love the packaging, it's so insane. And what you do is that you click it from here at the bottom of the lid and then the lipstick comes out, it's so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna keep this shade, dark shade. So in this hand, these are the shades that I'm going to keep and in this hand, these are the shades I'm gonna donate. All of these are going to be donated. All of these are going to be donated. I'm going to donate this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick because I just don't wear it. This is so old. Oh my god. Just found lots of Doll Beauty lipsticks which I'm going to donate because I don't need any more. Every time I tidy up, you guys are always running around. Hmm? All right, back to donating pretty much everything in this drawer. Donate, 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 donate. Donate, donate, wow, I'm gonna donate everything I think. Oh wow, look at this lip gloss, it's so stunning. It's like a glittery black lip gloss from Lime Crime. I'm gonna be giving that away though because I just don't use it. Saving this Beauty Blender lip gloss, gonna give that away because I just don't use it. I'm going to donate these. So these are gonna be, yeah, all of these are gonna be donated. Oh my God, look at that design on this lipstick, it's so stunning. I don't know what the brand is called, but it's called Pucker Up with Ted. Oh, this is a Ted Baker lipstick. I think I'll keep this just because I don't have any Ted Baker makeup. Just found this really pretty Morphe lipstick. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. You are all crazy. I don't know what daddy gave you for dinner, but 
I just, I just, I, as soon as I get the camera out, they stop running around. Oh my God, you're so funny. I'm gonna be more strict with myself now. I need to make sure that a lot of these are gonna go because I might put some of these products up in here as well. If I can clear most of this drawer out, that means I can put more lip products in here. So it'll be a little bit more clearer for me to see everything. Oh my God, look how cute this lipstick is. Oh, so adorable. But I don't use it, so it's gonna go and be donated. Okay, I'm gonna keep a couple of Bobbi Brown suckers only because I don't have that many products from them. This Charlotte Tilbury lipstick as well. It's a really beautiful, dark, warm color. Oh wow, look at this lipstick. Whoa, I'm gonna give that away to my nieces. I think they'll have fun playing with this lipstick. Got the Huda Beauty, I think these are like the diamond lip balms. Honestly, I'm kind of over this trend. I mean, I know it's so pretty and everything and it's so aesthetically pleasing, but I just, I'm just so over it. Yeah, I'm gonna donate that. Right, a lot of these products that are in my hand are gonna be given away. Okay, so all my cats have now chilled. Girl, why do you always like to sleep next to bin bags? I don't understand. This is like a dry bin bag, meaning there's no like food or anything in there. It's just like dry stuff. Girl, look at you. <laughs> If you're wondering what Coco is, here he is next to his daddy. Nathan is like currently gaming. Don't mind the laundry, guys. Don't mind the laundry. Okay, so I am really tempted to look at these Kevin Aquan lipsticks. Oh my god, so pretty. They're really lightweight and they're not like super pigmented. You do have to lay layer them up, which is not a bad thing. Oh, they're really creamy. Oh, actually, I feel like these are more of a lip balm, like a tinted lip balm. These two are quite similar shades, so I'm gonna give one of them away to a family member. Oh, that's a pretty color. I'm oh, okay. Cute. Then we have this one as well. Oh my god, cute, cute, cute. Look at these interesting lipsticks from Dior. Oh, wow, and look what type of lipsticks they made, guys. Oh my god, I'm so over that trend. Oh wow, okay, these are really pretty. Do you know what, I actually wanna keep them just because I really love the packaging. I think the packaging is just so cute. It kind of reminds me of like little dumbbells. <laughs> Dior, please don't take me off your PR list. I know that was a bit of a <laughs> cheeky thing to say. I definitely don't need two of these. Wow, kind of reminds me of Fenty Trophy Wife. Um, I'm gonna keep the lighter one because Fenty's quite similar to this, so. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize this and then see if I can kind of put some of these products up in here. And so, yeah, make everything nice and clear and easy to work with. Uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and donate these products because I didn't realize I had them in the drawer. So this is my plan right now. My plan is to put majority of my lipsticks in here. I am gonna probably reorganize that again just so it's a bit more clearer because it's a little bit cluttered. But this is my plan. My plan is to put my super sparkly lip glosses on this side, like these two um, sections over here. So anything that's really sparkly, like this one, super sparkly. So it's a little bit more clearer. And then I think I might just put some more nudes up here. Oh, I'm not entirely sure, guys. I'm a little bit of a scatterbrain right now because it's a lot of thinking when it comes to organizing. But the one thing I do commend myself for is that it is so much more clearer now. Like I can actually see everything. I think I might put some of these dark liquid lipsticks in here that way if i'm looking for like a bold liquid lip i can just rely on this section over here yeah that's a bit more easier actually oh yeah so much easier to have it like this and i think i might put these on top of here i think that's all right you know i'm just gonna leave this play i think it's a good thing to have like a couple of spaces in your drawer that's like empty because it kind of like clears your mind up a little bit. I am going to go through these Victoria Beckham's lipsticks probably in an Instagram story because I haven't spoken about them ever. So yeah, make sure you follow me on the Instagram gram. And now we are moving on to the one last drawer. Oh my God. So this drawer is full of lip liners, lip balms and sponges and whatnot. So yeah, I'm going to start off by getting rid of things and then yeah let's um let's get cracking shall we i'm gonna talk about things that i would like to donate and give away i've got like packaged 
lip glosses from Primark because I just think they're so adorable so I do want to keep them. I think it's nice to keep a couple of things. Um, I do collect Primark lip balms because they're just so adorable. Like look at this Ariel one and then look at this little kitty and then look at this one. This is a um, pop socket actually and it's got a little lip balm and a mirror as well. I thought that was so handy. So yeah, I'm going to keep that. Got lots of sponges in here as well which I'm going to have to give them a massive deep clean. Love, love, love Lano Lips. This is actually one of my favourite shades from Lano Lips. I'm uh, going to say goodbye to a lot of the Makeup Obsession and Ciate lip balms because it's just a bit too much. I also got a Reese's lip balm as well which is so cute okay, so i'm gonna leave my sponges and my makeup sponge cleansers at the back here this is a soap but it's a shape as a gem i know so cool right this is from the bt blender collection i think it was like from last christmas these are so handy to have so i'm gonna keep them at the back there i'm gonna say goodbye to this lip balm look at that it's so cool but i just don't use it lion king lip balm oh my god in love only primer could do that these are unfortunately out of date, so I'm going to need to get some new ones. These are the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. So, so, so amazing. This is out of date as well, this Tarte Cosmetic Lip Balm. This is the Sugar Rush one. And I have to give this away, give this away, give this away, give this away, give this away. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, but as a lip balm. And it's just, yeah, <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. I do love my lip balm, guys. I'm such a lip balm hoarder because I have the most driest lips ever. So it's really important for me to take care of them. I'm going to get rid of all of my lip scrubs in here because they're really out of date. And I'm going to get some new ones. So I've got the Colourpop, Iborian and Winky Lux lip scrubs. But they're just going to have to go because they're really out of date. Love this lip oil from Dior. I feel like no one really talks about Dior lip products. But this is actually one of my favourite lip oils because it's long wearing and it's hydrating it's not one of them lip oils that like stays on top of your lips i hate those type of lip balms it actually really helps hydrate them oh my god i love the lip injection oh my god this is so good so good if you want to fake big lips try this out guys okay all right moving on to this section down here now it's very messy it's a mixture of like lip balms and lip liners so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to separate the lip balms to the lip liners. Oh, I found my Lano Lips 101 ointment. Yes, I love this product so much. Can I keep that over here? Because I have a lot of Shiseido lipsticks and lip balms, I'm actually going to keep them in this drawer down here where I've made a dedicated section to Shiseido. This one over here. So I'm going to leave it all here. That way it's just much more easier for me to, you know, find a Shiseido product. Because before, when it was messy and Shiseido wanted, like, um, a post from me, I would have so much trouble finding Shiseido products. But now that I've got a dedicated area, it just makes everything so much easier. Oh, I feel like majority of these lip liners are going to be going. So I will be going through my lip liners quite quickly. Okay, for the sake of Huda Beauty, because of how lovely she is, I will keep one glittery diamond lip balm even though i think they are so pointless <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry but i have to be honest though oh my god this is a terrible lip balm i do not like this so i'm gonna give this away to a family member this is the dr organic virgin coconut lip balm it's so waxy it doesn't even hydrate my lips got loads of Fenty lip balms which I'm going to give most of them away. These are like hydrating lipstick lip balms. They're really good but I just don't use them. Okay now that I have finally separated everything it's a very beautiful mess. I mean I don't know if you guys can tell what is where but I can kind of see my lip liners a little bit more clearer but I'm going to get rid of a lot of them because a lot of them are out of date for instance these Buxom's one they're very out of date so I'm just going to fish them all out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably separate them and kind of try put them in colour coordination if I can. Like pinky purple lip liners I'll put together. So I've got a lot of like lime crime lip liners. I'm going to donate this Morphe lip liner and this makeup forever one as well because i just don't use them the more i declutter and get rid of old lip liners the more i can find my purple pinkish lip liners which allows me to separate things a little bit quicker i am personally not a fan of the yves saint laurent lip liners i don't think they're very good quality no offense to yves saint laurent but just being honest the kvd lip liners are really good actually so i'm gonna keep that this dior lip 
liner ink thingy is so weird. I don't know if you guys can see, it's such a weird consistency. It's like a liquid pen lip liner. Not a huge fan of these. Okay, so everything in my hands that you're seeing is going to be donated. So you see these colours, I just don't wear those colours and some of these lip liners are out of date as well. So this is going to be donated, this is the MUA lip liner and then this hand, I just got some really old lip liners that needs thrown away. Okay, so I think I've gotten rid of most of the products that I don't want. I might do another declutter, but we'll see. But I'm actually just going to start organising everything and do from dark, medium and light. I think that's the best way to organise lip liners personally. Do you know what? That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Like, I actually managed to do my lip liner much quicker than I thought. Now, I know it doesn't look super duper like neat, but I feel like I can see almost everything. I still got a lot of lip balm so oh i don't know i don't know which should i get rid of more lip balms i think i might get rid of a couple more so like this lip balm over here this one over here okay this is the most i can do i think in the future i might have like a dedicated drawer to just lip balms but yeah this is everything guys oh my god i can't believe i pretty much finished my lip drawers and my lip collection oh my god i'm so happy <gasps> No way! Yes, I can finally go and chill out now. Yes! I'm so happy! Oh my god, I am so happy that I just did all my lip drawers. Like today, I was not feeling it. Like I was just like, oh my god, I have to film a YouTube video, but I am not in the mood. But I'm so glad that I done it because now the last section of my whole entire beauty collection is my skincare drawers. Oh, I'm so happy! Yes! Anybody who is bored at home during lockdown and you need something to do, I do recommend in just decluttering or just cleaning up a little bit whether it's your clothes or your makeup collection or whatever you collect like honestly it is such an amazing feeling ever thank you so much for watching this video i feel like this video was a little bit draggy ish i really do apologize if i wasn't like as super happy as i usually am but sometimes when you declutter it's like concentration mode all the way stay tuned for my next video i upload every wednesday and sunday as well so i'll see you in the next one guys Bye. <laughs>